Hi everyone, Melanie's back. Hope you had a wonderful Easter. Today is Tuesday the 2nd of April and I've received a little bit of haul. Um, I thought I would show it with you. Um, there's lots of things that you can use it different wise, some of the things inside. So we all um, in the stitchy world use the Q-snaps, most of us do now, but they call them a different thing in um, the Chinese shops. They're called plastic plastic snap frame and this one here is a 17 by 11 I don't really buy the 17 by 17 well I do when I don't I just mix them so if you get lots of different sizes of these I put them into a container drawer and then depending on how big the piece is that I want to sew I won't make it too big on here, make it how I can handle, you'll all have your own way. So I like mine a little bit longer, like this, so I tend to do them like this, at a length. And then I don't have a lot of length, so I might have that much length going down. So yeah, that's great for me. And then onto a lowry stand, but I put a little bit of cloth there, maybe like a microfiber cloth. Because with just the lowry stand, sometimes the clamp, they keep slipping out a bit, I find. So I don't think I really need to get that out and show you. Because I think most of you will know if you're doing the stitching. It does come, you see you've got two long sides, two short sides. You've got the connectors that are already in. And these parts here are like clips that you will clip onto the side. I use a bit of microfiber cloth or your material. And then we will use, see it's a really big um, sewing project that you're doing. When you've got so much like that, unless you keep moving it and have a space that you can spread it out, which I don't, I have to put the things out, take them away and pack them away. But I need to be able to do that tidily. There was these, this is from AliExpress by the way, these items. And I just received them today. It's roughly taken about two weeks. Um, the clips, and I thought they'd be bigger clips than these. These are £1.69 for three. So let's have a look at them. I did get a few bags of them because I thought that was rather good. Now these are not called sewing clips. They're actually called beach, beach towel clips. So, you know, like if you're hanging blankets up on your washing line and things like that outside, you need a bigger peg. So these were great, but I thought I saw these. It said beach towel clip. But I saw these and I thought these would be great because they are, oh, they open nice. They, that's, um, what, it opens to see. That's quite good. Yeah, that's a, that'll hold quite a bit of material there. So they were £1.69 each, so I got three bags. And if they work out really well, I might get some more. Put them all in a container, put the container away with clips for sewing. So I think they're really good. They are. Actually, let me try it on the end of here. Yes, on the end of the tables, if you're holding your work there. They're not slipping. Oh, it's got a little bit of... Um, it is plastic on the inside there, but it's not like PVC. Let me see if I can get that better. Yeah, it's it's really nice piece of, it's not rubbery, but I'm thinking if you wanted to keep that on your table, see these parts here, that part and that part. If you're keeping it on your table, you could also put double-sided tape on them and it won't come off. So that's the little clips. I thought they were really great. And then I saw these. I'll be honest, they did look a bit bigger online. It's like everything. Um, you'll laugh at me. There's a story there coming. You know them trolleys you can get to move around and they have three tiers? Yeah, I saw one on AliExpress for £1 something. I thought, no, it can't be that. So I get it. And it's for a dollhouse. So that's a lot of fun in the family. Nobody can stop laughing. There's this sewing thread. I was intrigued because I like the big ones as well. Especially if you do monochromatic designs, which I like to do, which is just two colours or the shading of like silken things. This one here is a peach one. Let's 
see if I can get it there. It's a peach one and it's got like lemon and cream in it. And I'm thinking, let me have a look. Let's actually open it and see if we can see what it's like. It says sewing thread, so I don't know if it's from a machine or if you can actually hand embroider with it. Now then, that looks to me like a single DMC thread which oh it's really quite strong i don't know if any of you have tried um i had a kit the other day and i'm still doing it but it's got anchor with its threads and i'm not right keen on them because they get fuzzy easy and they break easy but this seems quite good so if you've got little i think there's a little um I don't know the name for them, but they're like little wood dowels sticking out and you can put these on. I think I'll start to get different colours if that works up nicely. And that was 70 pence. And there's 1,000 yards on it. So I think that's a bargain. Yeah, you could even put that with another colour that's in there and use this as the blending piece. Now, I've recently done a cross stitch with blends. And I got mixed up, so I need to take it out and do it again. So it's a lot of frogging for that, so that can be done another time. <laughs> right, I've seen a lot of people get these. This is mainly relevant to uh, diamond painting. Let's open it. This is a CM. I see a lot of people buy these trays, and they're beautifully done. But like at £20 and that, I can't really afford that myself. So I have to look for other ways to be able to do things. Now this is a mould. So you would put your resin into there and that gives it the lip and you turn it out. So I will keep that one to one side and have a go at that. And I think this was only one pound something. On the description in this, I will write down the stores that are on AliExpress and the prices that there were at the time. Uh, remembering that you need to account for tax as well. So a lot of the tax is on a pence, but I don't know how it goes on for international um, folks, but yeah. So let's have a look. We've, got a we've just got a couple more things here, really. I didn't get a great deal, but... So I'll give a look. I did need some of these Q-snaps and I did need these clips and I thought the resin piece was nice and this thread so that's always good. Now we've got a couple of stamped, well I've got stamped cross stitch and I've got an unstamped cross stitch but um, on AliExpress when you order them they come with everything. I don't do stuff by half so this one is an 11 count which is quite easy for me but it's a hundred and it's 66 centimeters wide the width of it by 121 centimeters in length length or heights width or thickness right let's get this open it feels quite heavy this is the tricky part to them isn't it Trying to find where they open. Yeah. I can feel that part there. There we are, look. It opens at the front. Sorry about the crinkling. Let's get this out. So let's have a look what it says on the front. Classic cross stitch. It says a lot of Chinese writing, which I can't understand, which I could do right beautifully. Um, I think that's 240 by 480 stitches. You can get it in a size 9 count, which is 78 wide and 146 lengths. This is going to take years, but, you know, it's got silks with it. So I think I recently have done a video where it's had silks. So let's have a look at this. This is very nice. It's a lovely book, isn't it? If this is the pattern. Oh, it is, yeah. A lot of them come like this. Let's show you the clarity. 
this looks a really good beginner one because it's a big landscape let's see and it's a mountain in china and I think it does tell you i think yeah it does on my order i can't remember the name of it but i'll write it down in the description so i think this is the the chinese writing to represent um which mountain it is is it huan right let's have a look at this what's that a bit of fluff get off there please thank you oh look as soon as we open it beautiful colors look at these oh wow look at the colors of this one they're beautiful really beautiful now if you have trouble separating a lot of cottons i'll tell you one thing about silks they're not proper silk but they call them silk silky and it feels gorgeous it's like you've got glossy glossy hair and they're quite easy to separate into different strands so it's two strands for your 14 count and if you go below that like 11 count you use three strands as general but when you start doing your sewing you'll know yourself which you like because sometimes I like doing 11 count in two strands it depends on the actual canvas because some of them are really tight some of them are not and we've got quite a lot of colours here oh we've got lots of things here look let's have a look more beautiful colours oh look at that one that's like a beautiful teal that's gorgeous and the browns and the coppers we've got silvers black navies royal like a beautiful a gray platinum gray that one dark charcoal and black these are beautiful colors yeah they're just gorgeous them really nice and you see they've all got numbers on those you can take them off here and put them on bobbins but silks are quite hard when you put them on bobbins they do tend to stay like when you wind stuff around bobbins they tend to stay curled so it's best leaving them like that if you can let's have a look at the little kit that we've got here we've got some little snippets little instead of scissors these are good to travel with because they're just tiny um we've got a needle threader in there a little, little sievo one and we've got one two three four five five needles and they're quite good needles that they put together in these um, stitches. I think they are. Now let's have a look at this. These must be the spares. So when we're sewing that, I tend to leave the spares somewhere separate and not do them, not actually use them until you really need them. So let's see if we can get this open. Oh, it's quite a big... I'll just get a few and get, we'll get them out. Let's have a look. And the good thing about these spares, you think to yourself, well, what if I can't remember? Well, they know that they're always sort of, I love how they twist it like this. But they do, yeah. If you just look at the bottom where it's a bit fluffy, they'll tell you, hashtag 27 that is. So we can put that when we've no num when we've run out of all the ones on the number twenty seven, you can go ahead and put these on there. We've got teals, golds, greens, silver, blues. These are beautiful. Lovely white. Look at that one there. They're just gorgeous. They're really nice, and they do. They are quite generous. So let's have a look. Let's put these back for clean to one side for you so I can show the other kit that I got. Now, when you do 11 counts and 14 counts and things like that, uh, I do that because of, well, probably a lot of my age and I do have quite a few eye problems. But we don't need to go into that. We just go around it it's like any obstacle in life isn't it you work around it don't give up you work around it 
There we are. So look, put them, just give them a shake and hang them over something. I tell you what would be a good idea to hang them over, you know, pant coat hanger. Not the ones with the clips, with the one across like that. So you've got your coat hanger that comes here and then it's got a line across there. You could just possibly tip them over there. I do that with the Lowry stand as well. So let's have a look at this canvas. So this is printed cross stitch. Oh, wow. Look at how bright this is. My goodness, let's have a look. <laughs> oh, I like this already. It's lovely and bright. Now, these colours on this canvas are not the colours in the required painting. So what they do is, why they do it brightly coloured, it's to help you with your eyes to be able to see the colours around. So you can either do, there's a lot of confetti, Confetti means, right, confetti means, I'll show you something like this. This part here is confetti because there's lots of tiny dots of different colours. So that's what confetti means. And then when you have blocks, a full colour, that's a block colour. So let's see what this yellow is. Let's have a look. I'm curious to see what this yellow is. Right, it says here across, they have a legend here. Yeah. So this one is number 38. Right, it says 38 there. You'll notice little bits of yellow sparsed around. I do the little, I do the little ones first and then come to the big ones last. That's just me. And that one is 3766. DMC number, and uh, if it is a DMC number, let's have a look on here. So we've got the numbers here. We're looking for a number 38, 36, 37, 38. So as you can see, that is by no means yellow. But yeah, we have to stitch it in this beautiful green. So that colour goes into that. So sometimes when you roll in these up, if you had big ones, you don't always, um, you can't always get to the side of the legend. So that's why you use the reference book, what I showed you with the patterning. And if you go to where that part is or whatever page, it'll show you the details if you're getting it right. If you can't quite see there, this is the bottom, which oh, is really quite nice. It's been, um, so it doesn't fray around the edge, said. Um, there we are. And there's some more needles there. They're lovely needles, actually. They are really nice needles. But you could sit and do just a few squares at a time. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Yeah. I've started so many projects. It's how many years to get them done as well. Because I want to just not long put back into cross stitch. And I'm learning quite a lot myself. <laughs> Let's put the colours in there, shall we? That's the whole. So I'll get hold of the labels. Seems like a hot mess, but it isn't. You just need to put it to one side, give it a shake, and then gently get hold of the silks like that. And when there's too many, you can plait them. You know, if you've got big... Like these are twisted, but I tend to plait mine. So that's for that. And that's the reference book that I was on about. So if you're unsure of the colours, here we are, look. Let's see how many colours we have in it. Now we've got 47 colours in it. The more colours, the more details. That's what we say. And there's some really nice ones here. So I think there's no... No... What is it? Stitches? No satin stitches or half stitches it's just a full cross so that would be quite good 
So let's put that to one side for you. And put that with that. Let's get out the other one that I wanted to show you. I'll just put these to one side. Right, this is the other one. It's like a sample I stitch. So this one is, is it Xiao Spring? Can you see it there? Lots of browns and some stitches. Needles there. Let's have a look. There's a little bag floating about. I do tend to not leave my needles with my work. I prefer to keep them all in a little needle book and then use keep the needle book near my other sewing things, what you need, like your clips, things like that. Let's have a look at this. So this one start stitching straight away is Yao Spring Cross Stitch. And the number on it is there. It's double Z four three eight eight and it's fourteen count. So that will make it 130 centimetres by 66. So that's a, a really big one again. Oh, these are fantastic. Look at that. I'll just show you one. Now, they're all like little boxes. Is the actual stitch. It says it on the airlock. So I like just stitching a box at a time. And they're right intricate. I'm trying to see what it says. I did know, but it's not. I can't remember if it's months or. Yeah. Let me have a look. Yeah, let's show you with it. Like, each, this stitching, this um, is really well done, printed, this pattern. Don't know what's up with my brain today, it's just not working. But these look really easy even for me to see. Can you see those? They look fantastic. And I will write the name down for you. Because I, I, I think it's quite hard to find things on AliExpress. Like people will tell you different ones that they've used. And all the pages are numbered. Yeah. Oh, here we are. Look in the middle. So look at that. That's just a bit of one of them as well. It's like a garden sampler. Wow, we've got a lot back stitching. We have 46 colours. It gives you the DMC numbers, the colours. But I normally go by symbols on DMC. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen backstitch colours. There we are. And this is like the quality of the... I love it when it's like this because I've been trying to look for highlighters. But if you've got darks, if you have patterns, and mind you, a lot of you will use pattern... What's it called now? I can't think of it. My brain is gone. Put your download and use the patterns on. Pattern Keeper, that's it. I can't use that because it makes my eyes go a bit, a little bit funny. Um, so I have to use these. But saying that, these dark squares here, I tend to try and use a pencil because of some way of making it see where, you, where you've stitched. So it can be quite difficult. Like. But I will have them like this on a board. So it's easy for me to go page one, page two, page three, that type of thing. Now this, um, this sewing is county cross stitch. But when it's in the little boxes like that, it's not too much to count. A lot of people get put off by county cross stitch because of things like that. There's a lot of beautiful colours here. We've got some teals, maroons, 
khaki, browns, blacks, lemon, navy, peach, orange, all sort of earthy tones. Yeah, that'd be really quite nice. Oh, it'd be nice that because it just looks sort of brown and white on the air, doesn't it? But it has got colour in the pattern. Yes, it's like a historic stamp one. And this is spare. This is a brown one. Might be 379. Now this will be a plain piece of Ada that is 14 count. Which is good. There we are. So that's the like depth of it. And then it will go long ways. So this is going to be quite a big piece. So that's half of it there. And then it'll be the length again. Oh, I think this will be a lovely piece to frame when it's finished. Be quite a big piece. But, you know, a worthwhile one. Yeah, I really like that. That's nice. So I just thought I'd show you county cross-stitch. And the silk printed stitch Let's see if i can get all these back in here i don't think i'm gonna be able to do it like that get the material inside then i put the colors in i am due to do a stitchy video i'm showing you all the projects that i have from I think I'm going to have to put it down what I have. Sorry about the crinkly. I'll keep the needles and needle threaders out because I do keep them separately. Got the pattern. It's no good, is it? Ooh, too much crinkly. Do you know what? I'll do that afterwards. So, there we are. That's a little mini video. I will do a big stitchy video soon. Um, but I'll need to get organised for that. These clips are fantastic. And so, if you want the Q-snaps, they tend to call them plastic snap frame. And this one, as I say, is 11 by 17 inch. Anyway, I'm going to try this out, see what that's like to stitch with. That might be good for the li little motifs and things. All right, I'm going to leave it there for now. And I'll get back to you real soon with another video. If you like what you've seen today, please give me a comment on what you think or any ideas you'd like to see. Um, I have got some up and coming videos with contents from people that are going to send me things to show you. So that would be great. Um, I'll leave it there for now, okay? Have a good day. Bye.